Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video on this fresh Friday afternoon. It's the end of the week, we're looking forward to the weekend. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully the audio is okay. And we are just 28 days away from the start of the new season. So the countdown has begun, but we are now less than 24 hours away from our first pre-season game of the pre-season. We take on Gateshead tomorrow, 12.30 kickoff down at the Gateshead Stadium. I am going down there. It will be the closest away game that I've ever been to. Uh, so if you do want to see my vlog reactions from the game, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It should be good fun. Looking forward to it. I think the plan is heading to town early, get the metro over with We'll have to get the Metro pretty early, I imagine, with the other 11, 12,000 Geordies who are all heading over to the Gateshead Stadium. When the tickets went on sale, they kept a selection available for the Gateshead fans, for the Gateshead season ticket fans. But otherwise, I think every single Newcastle fan just jumped on it. It sold out within about two hours. So I was lucky to get a ticket, and I am looking forward to it. I've been to Gateshead Stadium a few times in the past, uh, but I don't think I'll have ever seen it as busy as it's going to be tomorrow. Um, and it's a chance... See a few players in action. It's a chance to hopefully see maybe a Tonali debut. There looks like a few of the big hitters are making their return to Newcastle. It looks like Eddie Howe's rounding up the troops for the start of the preseason. It's a chance to see some players try and impress. Lots of players returning for preseason. There's only so many spaces. So I want to talk about players returning, players looking to impress. Gates said, you know, they've got some big hitters as well. Going to see Iron Mike down on the touchline again. Uh, obviously, ex-Newcastle player. They have a few ex-Newcastle players in the side. So it should be good fun. And then again, I know the ticket situation has, has cop cropped up a few times. I talked about it a little bit in yesterday's video. All of those 11,000, 12,000 ticket sales are going to Gateshead. You know, Gateshead aside, he was struggling a few years ago. So that's great for them. The streaming service stuff, yeah, I think it's irked a few people because at the end of the day Gateshead are charging 9 99 but that's for the whole National League so yeah it's it's not going directly to Gateshead but it is still going into, into football it is still going into National League side so yeah let me know your thoughts if you want to down below but we're going to move past that in this video and try and give a bit of a preview going into this Gateshead game as I've mentioned they are a lower league side it is our first game of pre-season um first preseason game of the preseason so I imagine there'll be a lot of changes a lot of mix-ups I think some of the players who are returning could feature for parts of the game but not all of the game it's it's like the old days of Sven Goran Eriksson in England where he'd have 11 for the first half 11 for the second half and look it's a good chance for, for Gateshead to get some preseason as well it's a good chance for Gateshead to bring some fans in bring some money in you know, they've got a season to play as well and stepping up against a, a Premier League side the Champions League side you know, it's going to be a good test for them early in the season. But I thought I'd start with talking about the transfer for players to impress. I think Eddie Howe's made the right call in terms of pretty much inviting everybody in their dog back for pre-season. You know, you talk about the likes of Hayden, Hendrick, you know, Lewis. I don't know where, the, I don't know where Fraser is. You've got Mankeo. I think Crafty's been pictured but, but still out injured. You know, there's a lot of players there, but there isn't... There isn't that many that many spaces, um, and going in against a you know a lower league opposition, it should really be a chance for some of these guys to step up. You know, I mean, will Hendrick and Hayden be Champions League ready? Probably not. Should they be, you know, um, taking on a, a team three or four leagues lower? Then then yeah, they, they should be ready. So it'll be interesting to see of anything, not just who was able to impress on the day, but who Eddie Howe includes on the day. Because as I say, if there's players that are just totally missing, you know, Ryan Fraser, I'll be interested to see what's going on with him. It'll be interested to see who we're playing in goal for this game. Are we going to play all five of our goalkeepers or are we going to maybe have one and then two? Is it obviously Pope. Um, it's understood that he's obviously had a bit of a hand injury after his operation. It's thought that he probably won't feature. Will we see... Um, Carriers will De, will Debravka be present because there's question marks around where he is. So yeah, there's there's interest to know who is and isn't there, as well as interest to see who can step up and impress. Obviously, the player that everyone's talking about quite a lot now is is Maxi, uh, heavily linked to potentially leaving this summer window, potentially in order to bring in a different player. You know, a lot of 
talk is that if we want Barnes to come in, we could well have to see Maxi go. There's been lots of comparisons between the two players. That's not really who's, who's better, but who, who makes up the numbers. And, you know, it's potentially an unfair comparison because Maxi hasn't really had a great chance on our side this season. But then again, is that because he wasn't doing well enough? And then you look at Barnes, who was playing in a... You know, relegated side and still scored 13 goals. So, yeah, it's an interesting one. But is this a, it's a big season for Maxi, I think. And if he does want to stay and he does want to be included and he doesn't want to potentially get moved on this summer window, he needs to start, you know, showing what he can do pretty quick. And I imagine Maxi against the Gateshead side could probably rip it up and, and possibly even get a few goals. So, yeah, Maxi's one that I'm definitely looking out for. I really hope he does play. I think if he doesn't feature at all, the question marks will just come back again. Where's Maxi? Why didn't Maxi play? Is Eddie Howe leaving Maxi out because he's resting him? Because he, he's going to sell him? You know, I hope Maxi plays, scores a goal, and everyone goes, wow, got to keep Maxi in this side. That's the thing. Harvey Barnes, he got left out of Leicester's preseason friendly to rest him, apparently, or, or something like that, which is basically because they know they're going to sell him and don't want to risk him to injury. So, yeah, I really hope that Maxi gets involved. Really hope that he, he steps up, shows what he's got, takes his chance. Um, and in terms of the transfers while I'm on it, Pete Greaves, the Sky Sports reporter, who's obviously a Newcastle fan, posted quite an interesting thing on Twitter the other day where he said, Newcastle are working on it, you know. Let's enjoy the window. Let's talk about the transfers. Let's en enjoy the speculation. Let's talk about the reports and the links. You know, let's, let's not get worried. You know, it's all going to be okay. We've already got Sandro Tonali coming in the door. and We're hopefully going to get a few more. And could we see Sandro Tonali make his debut for Newcastle tomorrow? Well, I really hope so. How, how good would it be for Sandro Tonali's debut to be at Gateshead Stadium? It would be quality, coming from Milan over to Newcastle, straight into the Gateshead Stadium. And he's only just come back to Newcastle um, in the last 24, 48 hours. Uh, he has been spotted back in Newcastle. I think it was actually his missus who posted a photo of them um, out on the Hilton balcony. Obviously, that's where a lot of the Newcastle players will go and stay when they're um, either looking for a place to live or when, the, when they've just arrived. It's thought that um, you know he's already got a house set up and, and ready to go, to be fair, because there's been a few photos of, of that as well. But it looks like they were having a night in the Hilton. Maybe they just want to get pampered for the evening ahead of his big game tomorrow. You know, it's a shorter trip from the Hilton over to Gateshead than it is from Pontyland or wherever else. So, so yes, yeah, Tenali's been spotted. There was a few people looking out for the, um, the, the aeroplanes as well. His private jet was spotted, ready to land in Newcastle. And, and look... I really hope he's there. I hope he comes out, maybe gives the, the crowd a little wave. Will he play? I don't know. Last five minutes, maybe. I don't know that he would start. We know what Eddie Howe's like, and he hasn't had a chance to really do any preseason training with us. I think it makes sense that he does return for it. I think the players are starting to bulk themselves up now, get ready to go in this season, and really want the full squad there, you know, to, to kind of have drips and drabs isn't great. So, Tenali's been spotted and it's hoped, uh, hope, ah, I'm hoping, <laughs> as someone who's going to be in that stadium, I'm hoping that he's there. I hope that he maybe gets a few minutes. But uh, Bruno's been spotted on an aeroplane with, with his missus returning to Newcastle as well. So, big up for Bruno. That's a big one. It's more likely that he could potentially... Have some game time, haven't worked with the side for a lot longer. Joe Linton has actually been spotted doing um, Instagram videos down outside of St. James's Park as well. So, so it looks like he's back following um, his international duty as well. So, yeah, some of the big guys are on the way back. It's thought that Isaac is also hoping to return for the game tomorrow. So, yeah, in terms of players looking to impress, they've got to be on it. And in terms of some of the big hitters returning for the game, it's looking like they're back in the town, back in the tune. And um, we'll hopefully be there and we'll hopefully feature and we'll hopefully see Tonali get his black and white shirt and enter the pitch for the first time. So big fingers crossed for that one. In terms of, you know, Eddie Howe, how will he line up for this one? How will he how will he put the players out? Well, we all know Eddie Howe. He loves his 4-3-3 and I imagine it will be exactly the same. Um, and I'm not going to go through the players because I've got no idea who isn't, isn't going to feature. So if you want to give me your predicted lineups, go for it down below. But it's very tough to do that with the, a preseason game. What I will say, though, is it'll be interesting to see, obviously, if we do play the usual formation, 4-3-3, with the pressing on the wings. It'll be interesting to see any child tries anything else as well, because we have brought a few players in. The players that we've brought in are becoming more and more talented as we go along. And could we potentially even have a, a different formation in our back pocket? You know, we were, we were very much kind of plan A and then plan B wasn't, wasn't always there. 
could we potentially look to maybe try the two players up top, Wilson and Isaac, together more often? Could we look to maybe play a number 10 in behind Wilson if it if it needs it? You know, there's there's quite a few questions like that, which I'll be interested to look out for in the Gateshead game tomorrow as well. So you guys let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think we could potentially see a Bruno Tonali Joe Linton special tomorrow for the first time ever? I, I would love to see it. Um, let me know your predictions for the game down below if you'd like to give that as well. I want to see Newcastle win. Look, it's a pre-season friendly and it's a lower league side, so I'm pretty hopeful that we'll come out and win it. But if not, you know, as long as we're winning by the time the season starts, that's all I really care about. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one down below. Thank you for watching, as always. Drop a like and subscribe. Enjoy your Friday night. Catch you tomorrow for the vlog of the game. And I'll catch you later.